Nashville hot. <laughs> We're starting with succulent pieces of juicy chicken and frying it to golden perfection. Then we slather it with some classic Nashville hot oil. Oh, every bite is a taste of heaven. Or Hell. <laughs> I think it's, it's, you know, hot hell. I know. I think it's it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of both. Okay. So this is a classic Yay. dish. This is our take on it. Don't yell at us if we get anything wrong. Oh, but we love, we love it. it. We love it. We love it. It's so good. Oh. Okay. So we've been marinating this chicken all night, and we're going to talk about that in just a moment. Yeah, I'm going to get started on the flour mixture. The flour. So I've got two cups of uh, self-rising flour, three tablespoons of Cayenne. There's your heat. There's the heat, y'all. Here's where you control the level of heat. This we do ours exactly. medium heat. We you I mean if you're gonna do an Asheville chicken, you wanna have a little heat. Yeah, but we use we use cayenne throughout the throughout recipe. The, through all of the layers. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I've got the cayenne and I've got two no I'm sorry, one tablespoon of sweet paprika. <laughs> paprika. Or just good old regular paprika. A ta it will do just fine. We'll do the, do the trick. <laughs> a tablespoon of some sweet, which is brown sugar. That's actually two tablespoons. Oh, that is? Yeah. I'm sorry. I told you wrong. There. Oh, yeah. Okay. We sweetened it up just a little bit. We love just a little of that juxtaposition <laughs> of sweet and heat. So we That's all right. bumped up the brown sugar. I don't mind two tablespoons. And then I've got one tablespoon of garlic powder yeah. and a tablespoon of onion powder yeah. and then two teaspoons <laughs> of salt. Yeah. And okay. then I'm going to mix this all together. Sure. So that Chris can take talk it away chicken. From me. I can yeah. talk turkey, talk <laughs> bird. Okay, so you use whatever pieces of chicken you want. I would definitely recommend skin on bone in. You're going to get that crispy, delicious flavor. We're going with uh, four thighs and four legs. Yes. Oh, I don't know, anywhere from four to six pounds, I would think. Or a whole chicken you could cut up. Just remember that a breast is going to cook longer than a wing, so you got to take all that into account. Oh, but we love the dark meat. We, we do. love the we dark do. meat. So um, we did, we started, You could, I would say a minimum of six hours you want this to, um, sit, the chicken to sit in the marinade. Overnight is even better. So here's what we did. We started this, we got up early this morning, and here's what we did. <laughs> I got... Uh, three cups of buttermilk, and to that I added a quarter cup of cayenne. We keep on that thread of mm -hmm. cayenne and the same ingredients. And then we added um, two, two tablespoons of paprika. Yeah. And then we did two tablespoons of onion powder, two tablespoons of garlic powder, a tablespoon of brown sugar, and then uh, mixed all of that together. And then just poured that over the, over the chicken and let that submerge the chicken, covered in plastic wrap, and then set it in the fridge for uh, all day. I'm gonna say what, yeah. like six, seven, eight hours. Yeah. Um, okay. Let so it good and get good and marinated. All right. So that what that buttermilk milk does, besides flavoring the meat, it tenderizes it. So you're gonna think this next part may be kind of strange, but we've tried it all different ways. And it had, works out. We had our best luck when we actually took the chicken out. I just kind of let it, the the excess coat fall off. Don't throw this away because we're gonna be using it. Um, then placed it in the colander and then just rinsed the. Uh, just the excess marinade away to away, and then we put these on paper towels to, to get them nice and dried. And now we're going to coat them. Okay? Yes. That's, it's the it's the mad. There's a method to our madness. Yes, and I finished my mixing of the flour. And Very Chris, good. if you move your chicken, I'll put this flour where your chicken is. Okay, move my chicken. <laughs> yes. Move your chicken. Move your chicken. You? All right. Okay. There we go. The flavor profile of this dish is through the, I was always a little nervous of it because I can tend to have a little belly problem in my stomach. <laughs> There's certain spices that will just set off my stomach. And um, so I resisted this. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. It okay. is, I, right. yeah, the, uh, yeah, it's not for the, um, if you're looking for something healthy, I wouldn't say it's Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. It's one of those special occasions. I mean, it's fried chicken, so, you know. It's okay, so, so now we're going to coat it first in this flavored uh, flour, and then we're going to submerge <laughs> the it. flavored flour. The flavored flour. <laughs> Isn't that a rap singer? And then we're going to let it drip off, and yes. then we're going to do it one more time. One more time. In old flavored flour. Wow, look at that. And this gets it nice and crispy and coated. Yes. And, um, Get it all over. Super delicious. Um, yeah, now we're going to set this. This here, you want to let this. You again, you can do this hours in advance, or you you're gonna want to give yourself at least. Oops, I'm making a mess. At yeah, least right. um, 30 minutes for it to, to sit on there while, yeah. while your oil is starting to heat up. Okay, I'm gonna keep going until we're ready to fry. 
Okay, we've got our industrial sized uh, deep fryer here. Actually, it's it's great for home cooks. If you follow us, you see us, we use this all the time. I have a link to it in the description. We love it. We even have a double one. <laughs> we do. If you watch our Fridays, you'll know. You'll yes. Be uh, you can also fry these up in like grandma did it and grandma's grandma did it in just a big old cast iron cast skillet. Cast iron skillet, yeah. I'm using vegetable oil, but you could use shortening, whatever you want. Just be careful if you're doing it in a skillet. It's got to be deep enough to handle like a couple inches of oil and then your uh, right. chicken. You do not want that to uh, flow over and cause a grease And fire. you have to keep it going with the heat there. That's I'm right. I'm going to bring right. this closer to you. Okay. Chris. All right. So All we're right. going to gonna have to do this in batches. And um, so I'm being careful with my gloved fingers here. And we're just going to drop Yay! that in. <gasps> Y'all, I'm so excited. I know. So uh, we've got, I've got my oil set to 335. A lot of times you fry at 350, but I want to keep it just a hair lower because I wanted to get nice and brown and really cook that meat. We're going to definitely have to finish it off in the, chick in the chicken, in the <laughs> oven, no doubt. <laughs> right. But this will get it nice and crispy. And, and to the right color that we the like. The right color. When yes. it's perfect, we take it out. Look at this glorious uh, fried chicken. All right, you guys, here's the big let's reveal. See it. <gasps> Look at that. Okay. Golden and soup. Yes. This, this chicken yields an extremely crispy you don't you know sometimes you say if you want extra watch out hot oil everybody yeah, extra crispy um there you go. chicken then you could do a double you know double dredge as you can see by this you don't oh. need to do a double dredge yeah, there we go that one's got a little stick there may we go. stick to the uh to you the, guys in that beautiful <laughs> chris now, you can stick that back in there and oh yeah okay you're right that, not so let it drip everywhere we um like i said we're we I cooked this on 325. <laughs> it needs to finish off in the oven so it can get up to 165, 170 even is good. I'm using my Thermapro um, instant read thermometer. So digital thermometer, you can get a discount on these from How to Feed a Loon. We give you a discount code. We live by this. Um, it's probably going to go another, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes. But I'm going to stick this in the thickest part of the chicken. Um, Okay, and I've got yes. my oven preheated, not scorching hot, 325, just to low cook. If it starts to brown the, the skin too much, just cover it with foil. Okay, I've talked. <laughs> I know. All right, Chris, you ready to do this hot oil? Yes. Hot natural oil, you guys. Oh, it's so good. All right, so we need a cup. Here, I'll um, do it. I'll do it. We're gonna do, you're going to want to do about three quarters of a cup. Now, you're going to think, really? You're yeah. grabbing the oil from the... Yeah. I know it's crazy, but it's it's flavorful and you're going to, you know, you're not going to put all of this on your chicken. There we go. So that we're using that flavored oil. Make sure you got a heat proof bowl too. <laughs> yes, that is super important. Do that in the heat proof. I'm turning this off. Turn it off. Turn it off. And all right, so I have um, the hot oil. Oh gosh. Then we have some more... <laughs> Cayenne pepper. So now this, I gotta tell you, keep on. So this is where you're gonna get your heat. The, the, the marinade gives a little heat. The uh, crust, there's a little heat in there. If you really want to pack a punch, add as much cayenne as you want. Yeah, here. this is two tablespoons Which of Which gives a cayenne. nice little heat, gives a warmth, yes. it, but not like, ah! Then we have a tablespoon of paprika. Paprika. A tablespoon of... Brown sugar. Brown sugar, that's sweet again. Then we have a teaspoon of garlic powder. Powder, okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have a teaspoon of No, just a half a just teaspoon. Just a half? Just, right. just do a half. Just a half. Or, uh, this has go. already got some salt in it. Oh, so wow. Good. That just cleared. Yeah, cleared cleared your sinuses. <laughs> yes. And I just want to make sure I get all of that mixed together because once that chicken is out of the oven, it's going to be time to we're gonna brush slather this. it on. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> okay, we're getting close, folks. We are getting close. Oh, the time has come. So I love our Thermopro here. I've got, I don't even have to, like, have it stick my hand in the hot oven. I've, we've got it up to 170. I want to make sure this chicken is done. Yes, and um, I've got this hot oil ready for you. All right, yeah, whisk hot that. Nashville oil. Oh, my goodness. So we let this go for, I don't know, I sort of lost track of time. I think it was about 20 minutes. <gasps> um, beautiful. Oh, wow. When you're doing a wet batter like this, it's going to, the, the, and when it's in the oil, it's going to darken a little quicker. So that's why um, we finished it off in the oven. Okay. Now, now I'm going, where is your brush? My brush is right here. Now this. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. Now, just, you can be as liberal as you want, um, but I like to do just sort of an, an initial brushing over this. You can do it all over, and then you... I'm dying. I know, I'm salivating. This, th those two are mine right there. Oh, okay. So give me a good dosing of it. He's already... Look at that. Picked them out. Look um, at that. Beautiful. So... Now, let me quickly tell everybody. So I've got, oh, yeah, yeah. I've got two slices of white bread, just plain white bread. This is how... 
you eat your Nashville hot chicken. You can put some uh, two two slices of white bread, and then you get some pickles, some dill pickle slices. <laughs> so we're, so good. we're we, we've been studying this for quite some time now, and um, again, we're not from Nashville. Right. Tell right, us right, what right. we did wrong, um, but. The old, um, I think we did a lot right, too. Prince's, Prince's, well, I'm going to Fried go. Chicken Shack. Prince's Fried Chicken Shack, I believe, is where this originated. Come on over. Right there. Oh, Oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh. And so I right think there, right we're back. doing it justice. If you want to do um, Y'all, I am, all right, Chris. Go I got to give you some more right, of this. Go for it. This is what, this is mm, what puts it on the brand, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. First time I had this, I was a little, like I said, I was a little nervous. I was like, I hope my stomach takes it. I nearly died and went to heaven or heaven hell. Or hell. <laughs> oh, y'all, look at that. Now, Chris, you get yours together. I will. I will. Here, I'm just okay. going to do this. We're going to do this. Let me just do two legs here. There you go. Oh, really? No, what, who am I, what am I saying? <laughs> oh, my gosh, these are so loaded with incredible. Don't move so fast. Here, come on. Oh, we got the time. We got the time. All right. Well, not there everybody does. Look okay. All right. Oh, okay, really? guys. Now I'm going to add my pickles. I'm tempted to just pour this on it. Um, you can make as much. You can double this oil recipe. Uh, also, I wanted to say, if you make, you can make this in advance. Keep the chicken warm in a low temperature oven. Uh, oh my gosh. Here you go, Chris. Hold on. I got your pickles. Oh, you right got to do the pickles. There, you go. there is something about the couple of more, oh. more pickles. You know what we need. Yes. You you go ahead and do I, that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. If you're gonna do this, oh yes, do it the right way because they're they're a little messy. Don't even worry about napkins. Just get some good old paper towels. I just feel like we're at a, like a down home party. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I am. Okay. Ready. Okay. Okay. Chris, I think I'm gonna go for the leg. Are you? Yeah. I think yeah, I, I think might I'm... start off with the leg. You guys look at that. Oh. Okay, salivating. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the flavor! And then, I, I, don't you look, the meat is so tender from the marinade. You guys, look at that. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Oh, the skin's just falling off. I gotta eat it. Oh, and oh, Prince, oh. Prince of Prince uh, Chicken Shop, he combined it with the pickles and the white bread. You guys. It's perfection. My, uh, my scalp's getting a little sweaty. <laughs> in wow. a good way, in a really, really good way. Hold I think on, I gotta have a pickle. The white bread helps cool it down. Oh, so the pickle. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We got some business to do here. <laughs> yeah, I gotta eat it. <laughs> you gotta eat, you gotta say Wow, y'all. That is a million percent. Did I say, yeah, a million percent. Luna Pro, <laughs> I forgot I what I was saying. I, think I went into some into chicken, chicken hole. hole. A food coma, <laughs> chicken hole. <laughs> oh. That's our first million, hour, yes. million percent. It's mm. that good, you guys. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm, um, yeah, we're we're good. we've got some eating to do. Oh, we love you. We think you should make Nashville hot chicken because you might have the same kind of reaction that the loon did. It's so good. It's so good, guys. If we convince you, oh, make some Nashville hot chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>